I have a very funny story for you guys. I was just on a live stream and it got me, we were talking about a song that I had released a long time ago and it got me thinking about the story behind the song and it's funny how one thing can lead to another, can lead to another, can lead to another, can lead to another and then you have released a song with somebody that you've never met and that's the the moral of the story and the funny part of the story is um, I was online on the phone with Guitar Center once and I was buying some gear or talking about some gear and, you know, me, I'm just a friendly guy, or I try to be a friendly guy, so I was having a conversation with the guy, the guy on the phone with Guitar Center, and he was like, do you make music? I was like, yeah, and I was telling my story, I was like, he's like, what kind of music do you make? And I was, I was, um, he was telling him the kind of music, he's like, oh, I got a friend that makes really similar style music, and he tells me the kid's name, his name is Bo Bescuro. So then, uh, I just Google, like, look up the kid's name, Bo Bescuro, and I start following him, and I'm like, wow, I really like this kid's music, um, and I think it's really good, it's really cool, I like the guy's vibe. I've never met this kid in my life, and the only reason I even know of him is because of uh, him, uh, his friend that told me about him that would work in a guitar center. So then, fast forward a year or two later, I'm, li- I'm you know, following Bo's account, like liking his music, following his journey, and he posts this cover with this girl named Melissa Fitchie, and I'm like, wow, she's got a wild voice. Whatever, don't think anything of it. And then a couple months pass by, and I'm, tr- I'm doing all these collaborations with Emily Shewitt, um... Dizzy After Midnight, Alkaline Mind, all these different kind of artists. And I was like, wait, let me go reach back out to Bo and see where I, if, if I could find that girl, Alyssa Fitchie, that uh, did that song because she had such a good voice. So I DM Bo and I was like, yo, you posted like a couple months ago or a couple weeks ago. I don't even remember. It was so long ago. Um, a cover that you did with this girl like her voice was so wild and I want to see if she'd be interested in collabing so he gave me her name he gave me her Instagram I either email her or I DM her on Instagram and I was like hey would you be interested? you don't know me but I saw your cover with Bo and it was phenomenal would you be interested in sing- writing lyrics and singing on the song and I sent her the instrumental she's like yeah let's do it so I literally never met this girl in my life never even spoken to her on the phone never done anything still to this day um, I don't even know if I don't, I just, it's crazy. So we, we, I send her the song, she sends it back. I layer the vocals, I do it, release the song, boom. Two years later, three years later, and I still never even met her, but I still love, it's one of my favorite songs. I just thought that that's so funny, man, how the, the turn of events could uh, lead you to releasing a song with somebody that you've never met in your whole life before. So, <laughs> um, you know, that's the moral of the story is just, you know, be open to opportunity and you can make some really cool songs. This, this, I'll play a little clip of the song. This is the song right here. Um, you know, I think it's, I think it's a fun song. Very Laney vibes. This is Alyssa right here. Wait, did I spell? Did I misspell among? Is there should be a U right there, shouldn't there? Right. That's Alyssa, layer two vocals, kind of Billy Eilish style. It's funny, man. I love this song, and I never even met her. So shout out to Alyssa Fitchie. <laughs> uh, it's funny.